What up? Nothing. What are you doing? Sleeping still? I just turned the engine over. Just turn the engine over. In the driveway, back it up. Turn the engine over and get ready to put her in drive and slide on down to Jim Hortons. Get yourself. Get some, some go-go juice. So I feel better about myself. I am rolling down the road. But before I do that, Gotta put on fresh air. Yeah. Actually, before I do that, I gotta make sure that I do the introduction to the Nomad Outdoors 2014 bow cane. So, you are live on Nomad Outdoors there, Gray Bear. Hey, are we allowed to, are we allowed to like, play music in the background? Um, as long as it's imperceptible to the YouTube yeah, ear. Give me cricket. That's not imperceptible. I <laughs> <laughs> just scared myself a little. I can't pull out the driveway without Fred Bear on the radio. That is my tradition. Well, then fire that tradition up. As ever long since, ever since it first come out, that's, that's what I do. There I was. Heck, we don't want to hear me singing. Well, it, probably YouTube wouldn't pick that up. It'd be too off key. They will. They're gonna. They're gonna smack us around a little. Yeah. Uh, people got no sense of humor. That's the problem. It's a robot they, that does it. It's not even a human being. Oh. Well, I was created it, so bastards. Anyway. Anyway. But you're rolling. I'm right? rolling. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Right out of town, right now. 12.30, we're both, while you're rolling out of town, and I'm just, just pulled off the drive. So I'm gonna shimmy on down to, like I said, 10, to get some juice, and I'll get it headed north ground and just make a nice slow roll, and we'll probably meet, meet at the same time. Get close to good at the rest stop, hook up, take a look at the rigs, Give them one good check and make sure we're here to roll the rest of the way. Ah, oh, yeah. It was it uh, uh, crack myself up, brother? I said you would. Uh, so I got a gas up last night, 3 06. Because it's election time, that's why the price is Oh, uh, yeah. Out. Yeah, I spent, well, I, uh, I paid three. Where'd you get it at? Costco or Sam's? Damn, yeah. Yeah, I spent three fifteen at the BP with Invigorate. Whatever that does. Oh, maybe, maybe it's well, like Viagra for your motor. I don't know. You're, yeah, that, you're gonna. <laughs> you look underneath the truck and you <laughs> see a little tip of lipstick, and you know, then you'll know what the it's working. I guess. The, the Invigorate is invigorating. I'm trying not to get any dirt on it. <laughs> That's no good. Uh, you know uh, what? Always take that feeling that you have when you're leaving and you're going, uh, hopefully I didn't forget nothing. Yeah. Yeah, well, I, it was, I guess it was kind of nice and uh, I got everything loaded and then I had about 10 minutes to sit down and talk with my little Mogwai there and go through everything around in my head and go, you know what? Man, you got so much crap in that vehicle. If you don't have it, just go buy it. <laughs> you yeah. don't need it. Either you don't need it or just go buy it because you're you're carrying enough. You know, yeah. Full tank of gas and plenty of toys in the bed of the truck. Took two shots with the bow at the target. You're bringing a target, right? Yeah, brought the target. Uh, you know, it's funny. How I had a whole bunch of clothes laying down at the bottom of the stairs from turkey hunting. So fast in my ghillie suit and, you know, uh, turkey fast and I'm like yeah okay I know where that's at and then I, I'm going through and I'm like man I'm missing I am missing a lot where what is going on I'm looking around and so I unzip a bag and I'm like oh there's my I had a sweatshirt oh I didn't know I had that there's my flannel shirt I wonder where those went and I'm like but something's still not right I'm still where's my other bin I'm missing my, I'm missing a whole tote what what is going on? It's ended up a great tote search. That's uh -huh. where I went to laundry room and as I was washing those clothes specifically in my scent-free detergent and whatnot, I was putting them back into the bin. And I'm like, oh, oh, oh. 
All right, that's a different animal altogether then. Yeah, see? It was working out for you. All right, let's get this night to Columbus guy some money. Give him some dough. All right, well, you get some gas. I don't want to burn up a lot of burn up a lot of footage on just yapping on the phone. Oh, pool dancing. Ah. Instead of pool dancing, it's stall dancing, I think they call it. Oh, stall dancing. Yeah, ah, it's all the same. Nah, it's not even close. All right, well, all yeah, right. cut. Cut. And then, uh, Let me go over here. I was like, I'm not, e I'm not even gonna wash my hands. <laughs> I just opted out of that. I'm not even gonna wash my hands. I just, yeah, never mind. Uh, this is all bad. Uh, I got like a little skate in the men's room there. <laughs> all right, so here we are. Are we recording? Yeah, we're all live. All right, how's it going? About well, not even halfway up. When we get halfway, I think is uh, halfway is the bridge. Zilwaukee. Zilwaukee? Yeah. Yeah, it's a couple more miles down the road. Hopefully our side of the road's open. As it has been. I only saw one dead one on the way. I saw a couple on 69. I knew 69 would have a few of them. Yeah. I figured they'd be every every mile you'd have one on the other, every, side, every other side of the road. Well, was it as bad as it's been in the past, though? I mean, I usually see a lot of dead deer along there, but there wasn't a ton of them. Yeah, even the traffic. What is it? 2 o'clock in the afternoon on a Saturday. Perfect weather out here. Just a little, I don't know what's the temperature. It's got to be in the 60s, right? 60, yeah, at least low 60s, I would think. Nice out. Beautiful yep. day. A couple of clouds in the sky. Report is it's been cold up there. Had a freeze advisory last night. I said, good. We need, to, <laughs> we need something to kill off these mosquitoes. Yeah. So that'll help out. Yeah, I'm hoping uh, we'll get up there, do a little hasty setup, and get unloaded. And Head over to the ridge road that uh, pop up. I'm going to take a little walk in the woods back there and see if anybody's around. Take a walk back the other way, but at least the last hour tonight, sitting that fucking, oops, in that farting pop up. <laughs> More editing. <laughs> Fudgy. <laughs> right on the uh, right on the ridge road, right between the the high road and the low road, right yep. there. Yeah. See what's what. That'd be interesting to see if anybody else is out. If those guys have been out there since the beginning of time or camped up or... Yeah, because didn't they say, did they say they go up there the first week every year? can never remember if it's like the first week or the last week or... I know it's early on because we've okay. been there later in, normally around this time, and they've already, they've already pitched camp and headed out. I think they go from opening day, you know, to like whatever weekend ties into it. I think they're only up there for a week and then they Good. bail on that spot, so... Good. Something else. It'd be that, nice if it were the yeah the very first week because then maybe things would have had an opportunity to settle down a bit mm -hmm. since they've been gone. That would be ideal. Yeah, but we know that they bait out that way, so you know that's always an option too. Whether we set up stands back in there or not, I can't. I just I, I just I've always always thought it's just too far to come off of the ridge road to get back there. It's always much easier to just walk through that little wet spot there and then just walk on back that little road, which is technically the, the end of Rose Lane. Right. I mean, Rose Lane goes from Mohawk Trail all the way around to there. It's just that there's no uh, there's no thorough way to get past. We'll go back well, there. it'll be interesting to find out. out what's what. Mm -hmm. Where everybody is, what, everybody's, what's, what they've been doing, read some of the, the tire tracks, see how heavy the trail's been used, and hopefully this will be... Yeah, you always wonder, at least during the week we should be good, but on the weekends you always wonder if you're going to mm -hmm. get people that come up on the weekends and just, I've had people come up that just want to go through a, a walk in the woods. Mm -hmm. It's like, you know, there's, I mean, I can appreciate we all have a right to the woods, but you know there's people around here with bows, right, and yep. arrows, and may not always, well, you get the, you get everybody the kids. is self-conscious. Is... The kids and them, and them new side-by-sides come up and down the trail all day long. Remember yeah. that one time we had those Cub Scouts go right by me? Never even saw me. Walked right past me. Yeah, they walked by us. That was yeah. turkey season, right? Was that what it was? Yep, turkey yeah, you season. You just never know what you're gonna what you're gonna run into. State land. All right, well let's. Uh, All right, let's shove on, push off. Keep on, keep it on, huh? Yep. Keep on trucking. <laughs> keep on trucking, man. And I guess you know, you never know what you'll find when you come up here up north. I'm gonna have to move a little obstacle.
Every time you head up north, there's always one surprise or another that has to be remedied or taken care of. But that is the absolute fun of shenanigans. Because you just never know quite what you're going to run into. So we're going to continue along this trail and <laughs> keep doing a little bit of manual bush hogging. All sorts of wind damage. There's like five bazillion acorns on the ground right here. That's about where I want to put a tree stand for Jeremy for morning hunt if he wants to get up in the morning. Yep, this is the final leg back into the Nomad Outdoors secluded hunt camp with our great thanks to Genie Equipment Repair for letting us use his facilities for the week. We're going to get ourselves set up, talk about some strategies, some hunt locations, and then we're going to head out into the woods. So we're going to wrap up part one for 2014 bow camp and get ready to head out in the field and start the official 2014 Nomad Outdoors bow camp edition. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you out in the field. And there went a hawk. <laughs>